I've never, never voted. I've never been registered to vote, even though I've been um, a voting age for quite some time. And I think that was largely due to uh, not being, not feeling that I was informed uh, as far as the candidates, uh, their stances, just the various things that, that go into that. Um, and it was largely due to apathy on my part. After um, going to this, uh, this event and listening to, uh, to what Paul Weber had to say and, and listening to what the folks at the Montana Family Foundation had to say about ways that, that Christians can influence um, uh, just our, our culture and, uh, and the politics um, and, and our government in, in general, um, it really kind of struck a chord with me and it made me, uh, it gave me, I suppose, a reason to, to go out and, and vote. It made me want to, uh, want to, to see that my, my vote could make a difference. As Christians, we do have the opportunity to, to change culture. I, I teach primarily a theater class, um, which is a culture in and to itself. Um, and and the thing that that I really teach my students is that um, is is not to get you know sucked into the culture of you know uh, of uh, the arts, but to go in with a mindset of of changing the culture, of glorifying God in it. Um, and so with that, as that re you know pertains to to voting. Um, I, I've told my students, or am telling my students, that they have the opportunity to go in and, and change, uh, change culture, change policy, change, um, you know, what is going on in the government based on their, um, yeah, their input. If someone came and asked me why it was important to vote, uh, I would tell them, A, because your vote does count. Uh, and B, because um, you know, simply taking time to know what is going on in our government, to know the the people who are running for office, what their stances are, um, it, it's important to to know those things so that we can have an impact. <laughs>